Hello everyone and welcome to my Minecraft Technic Pack tutorial guide. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to calculate the EU generation of a nuclear reactor. So this is going to be part three of our nuclear reactor mini-series. Um, now it's not too complicated and I'm actually going to be using a industrial craft reactor planner. And I'm going to include a link in the description below as I don't actually know how to explain how to get here from Google or search engines, etc. Um, if you go to the Technic forums, the majority of the nuclear reactor threads will have links to different reactors using this planner here. Um, I'm probably going to make a video to explain how to use this setup properly to make sure that you're not inputting inaccurate information. It's pretty simple to figure out, but just, I don't know, I might throw one together just to try, try and help people out a little bit. Um, but that's not what we're here, here for today. We're going to talk about EU generation. Now this here represents our reactor. If we have six reactor chambers, which is adjustable by this slider here, and we'll leave it at six for now, um, this will be the size of our, the internal reactor we have. Now by placing one uranium cell inside, we will see a bunch of the information down here change. And under EU output, we can see the total EU change to two million. Now, how, how does one uranium cell generate 2 million EU? Well, the uranium cell is going to do a quick check every second, and it is going to check here, 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 and here. So it is basically going to check in a plus shape. It's going to check these three and these three. And of course, it's only going to check the center once, but it is going to check those five squares, and it is going to pulse once per second for every uranium cell in those five squares. So right now, since we only have one uranium cell, it is pulsing once per second for the entire duration of the reactor running. And it is going to generate 2 million EU per pulse. So that's one pulse times 2 million EU gives us the total EU generated. Now if I take another uranium cell and I put it not in that 5x3 five, five by, well, three by three or 5 block area, this cell is going to do the same thing at the same time as this one. So when this cell checks its five squares, this cell checks its five squares. Now this cell is going to pulse once because it doesn't have any other uranium cells other than itself, and this cell is going to pulse once as well. So we have a total of two million or two pulses per second. Now two pulses times two million will give us four million. No, that's not really efficient. Um, if you want to be more efficient, you're going to want to start grouping uranium cells together to get the most EU out of each of your cells. Now you kind of have to balance this because as you start to group your uranium cells together, they start to generate more heat, which we'll be talking about next episode, which eventually you will either have to shut down the reactor for an extremely long cooldown period, or you will need to have a very fancy redstone setup to keep it from running for too long. Uh, and of course, I mean, redstone, unless you're a redstone genius, it's much easier just to make a few smaller reactors than to try to run a crazy super powered reactor. So by placing a second uranium cell here, we're going to see how it calculates this again. So we know that this cell is going to check the five squares around it. It's going to check the top, the bottom, the left, and the right, and then the center. So it's going to pulse once for itself. And because this cell is here, it is going to pulse twice. Right, so the cell on the right is pulsing twice, once for itself and once for the cell on the left. And like I said before, the other cell is going to do the same calculation at the same time. So the cell on the left is going to check all five squares, the top, left, bottom, and right. It's going to pulse once for itself and once for the cell on the right. So each cell is pulsing two times per second. That gives us a total of four pulses per second. And four pulses times two million EU each gives us a total of eight million EU. And of course, the output EU is kind of messed up simply because the, rea the reactor set up like this will not run for the full generation time of the cells. So don't worry about the output EU too much right now. That just really isn't important. Now, as you can see, our efficiency is at two. That means we are, we are getting better efficiency than if we have two individual cells. So just some quick math. Obviously, right now we're getting two million EU per cell. With two side by side, we are getting 4 million EU per cell. 
And of course, if you want to add more cells, you can either add another individual cell. And this cell is only going to give us an, an, an additional 2 million because it's by itself. And it will actually, I believe, reduce our efficiency by a bit. But you can also add a third cell here and our efficiency will go up and we'll get about 4.6 million EU from each individual cell. So that's not that big of a jump from two cells. Um, doesn't really matter too much, but it is good to know. Now you can place your cell in a line, cells in a line like this, or you can place them in any combination of this, like these four squares here. You can change it so it's like that. Or like that, etc. There's, you know, there's four or five different ways you can set up the three uranium cells. And of course, we're going to get the same efficiency and same amount of EU as if this were in the line. Now, if you want to use four uranium cells, and this is where you will probably reach the point of maximum efficiency without having to set up a massive redstone. So basically, if you're going to use more than four or five, maybe six maximum, I think of uranium cells you're either going to you're going to start getting into the redstone timers and having to manage the heat inside the reactor much more effectively so by adding in the fourth cell the best place to place this to get the most eu out of this cell is right here and if you watch the total eu down here you'll see this jump from 14 million to 24 million just with one cell that's an increase of 10 million by adding in one cell that's extremely good. Um, we're actually going to be getting, and the math on this, we're just going to be getting 6 million EU per cell. So that's really good. Um, of course, it is more complicated to cool a system with four uranium cells set up like so due to the way they generate heat, which we'll be, I'll be discussing next episode. But pretty much, um, as long as you understand how to calculate the EUs, which is for every pulse, or this like for every uranium cell that pulses you multiply the number of pulses in total by 2 million EU and that will give you your total EU generated um, and again there are other things that affect how your reactor is going to run other than just the EU generation and the efficiency but those are for another episode so thanks guys for watching like I said I'll post a link to, link in the description to this website here um, hopefully Hopefully the link works. If it doesn't, I'll have to fix it, I suppose. I would recommend not opening this link in Google Chrome as I've had issues with the reactor planner in Chrome freezing up on me or not loading properly. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped explain a little bit about EU generation. If you use the reactor planner, of course, you don't really need to know all the ins and outs of the EU generation as it will do all the math for you. But it is good to understand how the EU is generated in, rather than just throwing uranium cells around. I've seen a lot of people who will do stuff like this. They'll put like a cell here, cell here, cell here, cell here, cell here, cell here. And they'll surround them all with coolant cells, like so, which I'll be discussing next episode. But basically, this, this setup will mean that each uranium cell will just... This setup will allow the reactor not to overheat. And yeah, they're getting 12 million EU, but they're using 6 uranium cells. I can get 14 million EU for half that amount of uranium cells. So this isn't a very good setup, obviously, but play around with it if you want. If you don't want, you know, play around with the actual reactors and hopefully you don't blow yourself up. Um, and yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope this was helpful again. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment in the section below. If this was helpful, like the video. I'm not going to ask you to favorite it. Um, if you're interested in the videos I've been doing, feel free to subscribe to keep track of what I've been doing. If you don't want to subscribe but you're interested in maybe an update on when I do the next nuclear reactor video, um, either leave a comment or personal message me um, through the YouTube channel, whatever, um, and I'll send you a message when I update upload the next one, which will probably be soon after I upload this one. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, good luck and have fun.